Welcome. In this video, we will go over our self-hosted remote support and remote access solution, Splashtop On-Prem. Splashtop On-Prem is a secure, high-performance on-premises solution for remote access, remote control, and remote support to any device. This all-in-one solution offers both unattended anytime access and attended on-demand connections, making it the perfect solution for all your remote access needs. Enable employees to access work computers from anywhere, and IT and help desks to efficiently support computers and devices, all while hosting on your own servers. Splashtop on-prem is made up of three separate components, the Splashtop gateway, the on-prem app, and the Splashtop streamer. To begin, visit splashtop.com support and click on on-prem. From here, scroll down to announcements and downloads, then click on the Splashtop gateway and select the most recent version. From here, you can download the Splashtop gateway. This is the central server that authenticates, secures, and connects users and devices. This is designed to be installed on a Windows PC server. After installing the Splashtop gateway, we must activate our license. Once the installation is complete, launch the Splashtop gateway web console, click Next to accept the terms and conditions, and create a password for the database admin to bootstrap the database, as well as a password for on-prem support to access the database. Next, enter the team or company name and the team owner credentials. With that, we have finished configuring the on-prem gateway. Next, to configure your license, log into your Splashtop account and under License, activate your online license. Enter your email and the license key provided to you from our support onboarding, and that's all you need. You will now see all of the features that are enabled on your license. Next, log into the Splashtop gateway, and from the Computers page, you will see a button that says On-Prem Client, that you can use to access the correct versions for the on-prem app that are compatible with your system. From here, you can download and install the on-prem app onto the computers you would like to connect from. Finally, back on the computers page, you can click on the blue Add Computer button to be taken to our deployment page. And from here, you can click Deploy next to your selected deployment package. This will allow you to download and install the on-prem streamer onto the computers you'd like to connect to. After we have installed the necessary applications, it is time to look at how to create users and groups. Log into your Splashtop Gateway web portal and go to the Management tab, click on Grouping, and create as many groups as you need. I am going to create Group 1 and Group 2. You can effectively manage access to certain computers by creating groups and assigning them certain permissions. Now go to Users and create the users that you'll need. I'm going to assign User1 to Group1 and assign User1 as a member. I selected Add and now I'm going to create a second User2. I'm going to assign User2 to Group2, also as a member, and I'm going to assign Attended Support. You can also change or add the group after you create the user from the gear icon. We can also set a group as a connection pool, allowing a user to connect to their group and they will automatically be assigned to any available computer, which can be helpful for computer labs with many similar devices. Next, let's look at how to set up unattended access and support. After installing the on-prem app and streamer and assigning the computers in the gateway web console, you are ready to connect to your computer remotely. Simply open the Splashtop on-prem app and you will see the computer with streamer installed listed in your computer window. Double click on this computer name and you will connect to it. Once connected, you will see the remote computer screen and be able to control the computer just as if you were sitting in front of it. At the top, you will see the Splashtop menu bar. The menu bar shows our disconnect icon Switch Monitor icon, Additional Multi-Monitor Settings, View Settings, Device Redirection, including access to our Wacom Tablet integration with Wacom Bridge, 
Wacom Bridge allows you to use a Wacom tablet to draw and transmit authentic strokes to a remote computer with no visible lag. Next is our full screen icon, our control alt delete function, session recording, file transfer, the actions menu, and our remote chat. Our view settings lets you adjust the zoom, frames per second, view only capabilities, and more. Our actions menu lets you blank the screen, lock the keyboard and mouse, and more based on your subscription. With this, you will have everything you need for unattended remote access. On the business app, you can also see endpoints on your computer list that utilize Splashtop Connector. Splashtop Connector allows you to remotely access computers and servers through Splashtop without using VPN or installing a remote access agent. This allows you to support computers on internal networks that don't have internet access or don't allow a third-party app to be installed. Connector supports RDP, VNC, and SSH protocols for connecting to your endpoint and leveraging existing terminal services. Next, let us take a look at the attended access usage. When you want to access a computer or mobile device without prior installation and with the end user present at the computer. To get started with attended access, visit the SOS tab in the on-prem web gateway and this will give you the link you can send to your client to get started. After the client downloads the SOS app for on-prem, they will be able to tell you the nine-digit SOS session code that's shown on their screen when they open the application. If needed, they can also manually adjust the gateway address from the settings tab. Once ready, you can use the SOS code that is given to connect from the on-prem app by clicking on the SOS icon on the top menu bar and entering the nine-digit session code from your client. You can then choose to connect either as a standard user or you can elevate the session privilege to admin to interact with user account control prompts, perform admin level operations, and gain the ability to reboot and reconnect to the computer without losing your session. This nine digit code is a unique temporary code that will be regenerated anytime the SOS app is reopened. If the customer keeps the SOS app open, you can use the same nine digit SOS code but if they close the app and open it again later, it will create a new nine-digit code for connections. After viewing our remote sessions, let's dive deeper into the Splashtop Gateway web console. First, we will view the user portal. That is what a standard user will see when they log into the Gateway web console. As we can see, the user has access to less pages than the owner and admin level accounts. The computer's page will show a list of all the computers that they have access to and can allow them to reboot the computer and view properties as well as connect. The devices page will allow them to see any computer they have used to log into their Splashtop on-prem account and allow them to remove any entries to force that device to re-authenticate. Looking at the logs, a user will have access to various log reports. The downloads page will show shortcuts to download the latest Splashtop on-prem app and streamer for any operating system. The user can also view the account settings page, which will allow them to change their email, password, display name, time zone, and set up two-step verification. Next up is our management portal. This is what admins and the team owner will see when logging into the Splashtop Gateway web console. After logging in, an admin has access to more pages, including those under the Management tab. An admin can view the Users page to view all users on the Splashtop team and add standard users or Active Directory users or groups. For any user, an admin can help assign computers, groups, change their role or display name, reset the user's password, disable or remove the user, help configure two-step verification, or enable or disable SOS attended access. The all computers page is like the computers page we saw earlier, 
except it will show all computers on the team instead of those just assigned to the user. This page is used to assign computers to users and manage other computer functions directly from the management console. Similarly, the All Devices page allows you to view all the devices that are authenticated on the team instead of just your own. So you can see what devices are logged into the Splashtop on-prem instance and remove any to force them to authenticate again. Our grouping page allows you to view or create groups for the team where you can assign specific users and computers to each of these groups to make organization more simple. Our scheduled access feature allows you to configure users and computers so that users can only connect to specific computers at a specific time. This can be very helpful for connecting users to a remote lab during specific hours, for example. The deployment page allows you to manage your streamer deployments, which handles your streamer install. You can create different deployment packages, which have separate install settings and configurations for each deployment. Along with deployment packages, you can also create preference policies, which allows you to remotely configure the streamer settings of your deployed endpoints without having to reinstall streamer. Next, our one-to-many actions and schedule pages allows you to manage our one-to-many functionality. Moving on to our team settings, this is where you can manage all of the team-wide settings available for Splashtop on-prem. This includes being able to enable or disable specific features team-wide, such as file transfer, remote print, remote reboot, chat, session recording, and more. Here, you can also integrate SOS with your ticketing system, enabling you to launch an SOS session from directly within your ticket. You also have access to authentication settings, where you can set up single sign-on or add an Active Directory server. In addition to being able to access logs from the web console, Splashtop log events can also be sent to a syslog server or security information and event management tool that supports syslog in your local environment. From the management portal, you can also access our open API settings. These APIs not only streamline support processes, but also lead to faster issue resolution, improved end-user satisfaction, and more efficient IT support operations. Now, let's take a look at what is available for system configuration. After logging in to an admin account, you will see that you have access to the System tab, where you can access the system configuration. Here, you can view the system status, network settings, and change the port that is used. From our security settings, you can choose to disable previous TLS versions, as well as import your SSL security certificate. From access control, you can enable access with IP restrictions so that only specific IP addresses can connect to the web console or on-prem app. From the notification tab, you can set up a notification that will be sent to your users. On the software tab, you can view our latest software component versions. Within the maintenance tab, you can backup and restore settings for your Splashtop on-prem instance. The License tab will allow you to view or update your license. And the About tab allows you to view information about the installed Splashtop Gateway version. That's all for our look today at Splashtop On-Prem. Thank you again for viewing this overview. And to get started, visit splashtop.com on-prem to learn more.